Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the changing energy mix in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Despite the increasing demand for electricity in the UK, energy consumption has actually fallen in recent years. This is mainly due to the decline of heavy industry and improved energy conservation. Low energy appliances, better building insulation and more fuel efficient cars have resulted in a 60% fall in energy use by industry and a 12% fall in domestic energy use. Our energy mix has also changed. This is a range and proportions of different energy sources. In 1990, three quarters of energy came from coal and oil, which are fossil fuels. Fossil fuels take millions of years to form and are non-renewable, meaning that they will eventually run out and are finite. They have to be burned to produce heat, power transportation or generate energy in power stations. This produces carbon dioxide and contributes to the greenhouse effect and climate change. Moving on to 2007, there was an equal mix of coal, gas and nuclear. Uranium is used to produce nuclear energy. The energy it produces drives a turbine in a nuclear reactor to make electricity. Nuclear energy emits minimal carbon dioxide during production, so is better for the environment than fossil fuels. However, there are concerns over the processing and long-term storage of nuclear waste, as well as the risk of accidents. Supplies of uranium are also finite, so will run out eventually. Since 2014, we have seen renewable sources growing fast. Renewable energy is provided by sources that will not run out, such as the sun, wind, tides, geothermal, which is heat from underground, and biomass from burning organic matter. These are considered green sources of energy because they don't give off carbon dioxide during energy generation. The biggest barriers to renewable energy production are that it is dependent on environmental conditions, the technology is fairly expensive, and it doesn't have the capacity to produce huge amounts of energy at the moment. In the past decade, the government has offered subsidies for wind and solar energy in a bid to increase the proportion of energy produced, although this has recently stopped. This has seen the share of energy produced by renewable sources increase. We currently generate around 30% of energy from renewable sources, with wind and solar providing the highest share of this. This energy mix changes from day to day. For example, during the winter months, you will see a higher proportion of wind energy as the wind strength tends to be higher. And in the summer months, the proportion of solar energy will be much higher because of the increase in sunshine hours. So let's think about energy security in the UK. This is the uninterrupted availability of energy sources at an affordable price. The UK is no longer self-sufficient in terms of energy. Three quarters of UK reserves of oil and natural gas have been exhausted and we import around one third of our energy sources, which affects our energy security, particularly as at times of low supply, prices will rocket. We do still have quite a lot of gas and oil reserves. However, these tend to be hard to access, such as a mariner oil field, which is 150 kilometres from the Shetlands, which is very remote. And as a result, oil production has declined by 6% each year for the last decade. So let's consider shale gas as an alternative. The UK has rich reserves of natural gas trapped deep underground in shale rocks. To extract the gas, high pressure liquid, which is water, sand and chemicals, is used to fracture the shale and release the gas. This process is called fracking and is highly controversial as people are scared that it could trigger earthquakes, pollute underground water sources and is also very expensive. We're going to look at this in a bit more detail in another video in this playlist. We're going to finish this video by thinking about coal. Concerns of greenhouse gas emissions and old coal-fired power stations along with the decline of heavy industry has led to a steady decline in coal. But we do have several decades of fossil fuels left and we import a lot of coal cheaply, about three quarters of our coal in fact. 
In 2022, the USA was the largest exporter of coal into the UK, with a share of 45%. This was followed by Australia with 13% and the European Union with 11%. The UK government has set itself a deadline of 2025 to phase out coal-fired electricity production. However, in 2022, it brought forward this target to October 2024, showing a commitment to lowering carbon emissions based on agreements made at COP26 and the Paris Accord of 2015. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video looking at the changing energy mix in the UK. Thank you for watching.